Hi and welcome to Ottawa English. In this video I'm going to give you a basic comparison of the CELPIP and PTE core English speaking tests to help you decide which one's easiest for you. So both of the tests have a very specific list of questions. In CELPIP you have eight questions. The first one asks you to advise someone about something and then you go on to talk about a personal experience and describe a picture and predict what might happen in that picture. After that, you express your preference for something and persuade someone else that your preference is superior. And then you'll also have to deal with an awkward situation, offer your opinion about something and describe an unusual event. In PTE core, on the other hand, there are five question types, but you usually have to do more than one of each type. The list includes reading aloud, repeating a sentence, describing a picture, responding to a situation, and then answering a short question. But each of those list items is like a section that can consist of two or three repetitions. So my feeling is that the PTE course list recognizes just how difficult it can be to think up ideas in a room full of people who were talking, coughing and making distracting noises. Six of Cell Pip's questions ask you to be creative, whereas only one of PTE course questions requires you to be at all creative. So for anyone who finds it difficult to be creative amidst all those distractions of the, self, uh, of the testing environment, PT, PTE core may be easier. We've already talked about the difference in, in the number of question types. PTE core requires the shortest speaking time its longest response is 40 seconds, whereas CELPIT requires two 90-second responses. PTE core also it tends to focus very heavily on pronunciation and intonation, so how you sound when you speak English. Don't worry about having an accent, but do make sure that you speak clearly in both tests. Smiling while you're speaking helps to increase the clarity of what you're saying. CELPIT requires more vocabulary than PTE core because you're constantly having to create and expand on your reasons in response to the prompts. And since PTE core doesn't need you to expand and explain your ideas very much just on that one question, you need a lot less vocabulary. And PTE core tends to stress intonation more than CELPIP, especially on your nouns and your verbs. But since most of the sentences that measure your intonation are right in front of you, where you can see the nouns and the verbs coming up, and it's very easy to practice that when you read something, you may find that PTE core is easier than CELPIP. And so overall, my feeling is that CELPIP is a more thorough test of your ability to function in an English society where you have to do a lot of thinking on your feet. But you don't always have to think on your feet. A lot of the time you're just responding to what somebody else is saying and PTE Core does a better job of doing that. If you did have the types of situations that CELPIP puts you into, you'd usually have more than 30 seconds to think about what you were going to say. So if you need a little help preparing for your test, do give me a call at 613-614-6460. I'll help you with CELPIP or PTE Core. I can do both. Working with a tutor can really help you by turning your passive learning into active learning. Watching all those YouTube videos is not going to necessarily make what you hear and see stay in your head. Working with a tutor can also make sure that you're targeting the things that matter. So the things that score on PTE Core and the things that score on CELPIP are different. 
because PTE core is scored with artificial intelligence. And so keywords, for one, are significantly more important. But the other thing that working with a tutor can help you with is saving time watching all those videos that may or may not give you accurate information. So if you're about to take your test, best of luck. And if you need some help, do give me a call at 613-614-6460. Press the like button if you enjoyed this video. Best of luck. Bye-bye.